Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. All right, uh-oh, uh-oh, here we go again. Here we go again. Oh, you know what? It just starts to overheat when it leaves the tracks. Huh, let's put it out. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today is our creations episode. Now, your eyes are not deceiving you. You're seeing a train here in the background. And this is actually something that you're going to be seeing in the future. So they are working on an update for Stormworks that is going to bring trains and microprocessors to Stormworks. So we actually have a little example train. This is not official. This is not something that the devs have created. Uh, this is created by somebody on the workshop. But I'm thinking it's going to work somewhat similar to this. Uh, as far as I know, there's going to be like a new island that's going to have several train tracks that actually link to other islands. And there's going to be some freight yards. And I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. So maybe we're going to get a taste of what it's like to uh, drive around in a train in a straight line here in Stormworks. So anyways, we got some cool creations. I'll have them linked down in the description. And if you guys have any suggestions for future Stormworks, comment below. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. Oh man, I'm really excited for trains and Stormworks. Can you imagine having advanced trains? Uh, that would be so awesome. Multiplayer train challenges, stuff like that. Alright, so this we're going to go ahead and open up. I've got other creations to check out here today. we got some really cool flying ones, but I wanted to start off with this because I'm curious about this. Do I just close that or... No, oh, maybe it doesn't close. Alright, so... Okay, I think we actually need to drive... Possibly down there. It looks like there's more train tracks down there. Even though the seats are aimed this way, there's not much train track on this side. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. There's your advanced engine there. All right, so we just jump into here, and I don't see... I don't see an engine key. Maybe it's hotkeyed? Let's see here. There we go. Oh, it's rolling. Okay, so it's cranked. It sounds kind of weird. Can I go backwards or is it just forward? Dude, that is cool. So yeah, it's using the rail system that a lot of people use for like the airdrops or I guess even the crane that you see in the background. And this feels stable. It doesn't feel like it wants to fall off. Uh, is that wheels? No, it's just the center wheel. And I think the other blocks are just grinding along. Okay. That's a thing. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, we've got a derail. There's not enough track here. We need a little bit more. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Survival's on. Oh, I'm burning to death. Hold on. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think this was going to turn into train crash survival. Okay, well, I didn't get enough enjoyment out of that. I feel like we need to set that back up. Uh, apparently, we pushed the... Oh, it overheated. It's what it did. Yep, we uh, we did it. Komodo broke the train in a matter of like 30 seconds. Wow, that's got to be a new record. Actually, while I'm at it, you can see the, uh, the bottom. I thought it was just skidding along with the front wheel, but you can see the other side of the rail on the... Uh, I guess they're called the trucks. That looks pretty cool. There's the batteries on the bottom. And this thing could actually turn if it wanted to. It just doesn't have curved track. You can see how it moves sideways there. Huh. All right, here we go. Once again, all right, Komodo. Sit back and enjoy it. There we go. All right. So, I don't know. Does this thing go in reverse? I guess I have to be on the other side, possibly. Man, that is just so cool. Like, I really wish there was more track to this. I want to just drive around in the train. Kind of wish I knew what was overheating. Like... Is that okay, or... There's no gauges. That's not a... Wait, is a gauge supposed to do that? Uh-oh. All right, uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go again. Here we go again. Oh, you know what? It just starts to overheat when it leaves the tracks. Hold on, let's put it out. Put it out. Oh, wait, does that not work? I was hoping we were going to put it out there. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm dying in the drain. Hold on. No, no. Come out, no. Come out, no. Oh, get out. Get out the door. Get out the door. Ah. <laughs> no, no! I, I almost just killed myself on the train. Alright. Well, that was a swell. I mean, it's a very cool concept. I don't know if they're going to expand on it even more. I mean, the update shouldn't be that far from now. At least I'm hoping it's not. I thought it said maybe December, which really isn't that far from now. So, so I'm hoping to see this update soon. This is kind of like a little teaser to what it could be like, even though we went in a line and we crashed the train several times. But yay, train crashes. All right, let's get out some creations. All right, for our next creation, I figure let's go ahead and take flight. We're going to be in a Boeing 747 advanced uh, craft. Oh, look at that. That is a... Oh, that's a big one. Oh, look at the buttons. 
All right, this thing looks pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and spawn this in. Does it look like the biggest aircraft? That thing's pretty big, actually. Never mind. Maybe it's one of the biggest that we played with. Oh, jeez. All right. Do I need a stair car for this? Oh, no. Uh, there's a slide. Can I get in the slide? Hold on. Ah. <laughs> Wait. Does this work? Hold on. Let's see. Can we... There we go. Hold on. Hit the, hit the switch. All right. This is going to be a new way to... Wait, no, no, no. Are you serious? How do we get into this? Uh, is there an emergency door I can pop open on the wing or something? Oh, here we go. It's got a, a butt, like a cargo butt. Let's go ahead and jump up into here. All right, so it looks like this is your cargo. That actually looks like the refueling. Yeah, it's a refueling pump, and there's the, uh, if you needed, like, an APU, you've got that there. All right, so you got your overhead storage. A very nice-looking jet so far. You've got your, I think these are the emergency, or is this, or is that a microwave? Actually, that might be a microwave. Never mind. I thought it was the emergency doors. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, up here. Oh, check this out. Double decker. Uh, first class. Or maybe this is for the employees. That's got like a, a desk in here. Hold on. What's down this way? Is it? Oh, it's the toilets. Okay, so we've got that. There's the slide. Hold on. Uh, there's the... Oh, okay. The toilet's over here. And I think that's a sink. Okay. Turn on the cabin lights real quick. This is actually really neat looking. I like this. I like passenger planes in Stormworks. So I always thought they were really awesome. Uh, here's your uh, first class. Got a couple of those. Okay, pretty cool stuff. But question is, how does it fly? All right, so fuel warning, APU. Okay, that's the APU. Oh, did I say APU down there? No, it's a ground power unit. It's a GPU, right? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I've got my, uh, I probably got my flight terminology a little mixed up, but yeah, the ground power would be down here. Here's the APU, so we'll go ahead and turn that on. Fuel pumps, let's go ahead and turn those on, okay. Let's see, what are these? Looks like we have instrumentation back here. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is that is that like a chicken leg? Uh, grab handle. Uh, oh, it's weather. Oh, I wonder if that actually works. So you've got rain, lightning warning. Oh, I think that actually, hold on, I kind of want to make it rain. I'll wait till we get in the air first. Okay, let's go beacon lights, gyros on, cockpit lights are on. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the cockpit seat here. Landing lights. Okay, let's go landing lights on. Brakes, let's go ahead and apply those real quick. It's landing gear, throttles there. Okay, so I think we're ready to fire up engines here. This is neat. This is like a full-blown little startup procedure. All right, here we go. Engines one, two, uh, three. Three, four, give those a second to spin up. Uh, oh, there they go. Look at that. That's glorious looking. All right, so wait. How does that part go up? That wing piece should have went up, shouldn't it have? Oh, is there another button to turn that up? I guess we can set here. We should be generating battery, right? I think we're good. Okay. How do we, uh, how do we toggle the, the wing back there? Hold huh? on, let's go down here real quick. Oh, I love the way this thing sounds with all the engines going at once. That sounds awesome. Uh, question is, okay, there's a ramp down here too. How does this, hmm, maybe I missed some controls. I'm probably missing something somewhere, am I not? Okay. I honestly feel like I'm staring at the ramp button, yet I don't know where it is. Okay, well, we'll see what happens when we start moving here. Maybe it's uh, automatic, I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a little throw. Oh, okay. Did that pop up yet? Ramp go up? No. I mean, it's not going to cause a problem, I don't think. It might on takeoff. I'm just curious how to get it up. There's a button somewhere in the craft. It's probably in the toilet. All right, so that and the top part of the wing back there hasn't come up. Okay, let's go ahead and start moving a bit. Let's go throttle lever. Okay, we're going to release brakes over here. Actually, gear, flap. Oh, flaps. Is that it? No, that's probably landing flaps, is it not? Okay, not sure. Oh, tail unfold right there. Boom. Okay, well that answered one question. Uh, still don't know about that ramp, but oh well. Let's go ahead and start to uh, roll here. Okay, brakes are off. Uh, we're going to taxi out over here. Oh, let's try not to go too aggressive. All right, let's go ahead and test flight controls. All right, looking good. Uh, Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this thing too fat to get out of the hangar? Ooh, wait. 
Hold on. Are you... Are you serious? Uh, there's probably instruction on that telling me to take it out of another hangar in there. Uh oh, no, 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 it just released itself. Okay, I must have not angled it right. Uh-oh, oh, 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 okay, well, I guess we're going. Okay, this is fine. Oh, watch out, no! <laughs> that was so weird. Uh, you know, I need to read the instructions again. Maybe I wasn't supposed to take it out there? Not really sure. Okay, gears up. Okay, so the gears are up. Seems to be good. I must have angled it wrong or something. Oh, it's a little odd. Dude, this thing with the gyro is smooth. Hold on, let's level it off real quick. Okay, so... Typically seems like it wants its nose pointed up, but I don't think it's gonna do anything else beyond this. Like, I could get up right now, and it's perfectly fine, I think. Okay, radars. Alright, uh, fuel. There's your battery right there. The battery's actually draining, but I don't know if it's because we set there. The What's that sound? What? What's happening? What? What? Are we going? Like, into hyperspace or something? What is that noise? Uh, it is flickering in here. Oh. Okay, well, whatever just happened. What? Okay, I don't know what's happening right now. Ah, uh, let's see. Man, this thing is firing off. It sounds like it's popping fireworks in this thing. Uh, do we have an emergency door on the side? I like when they have those on on here. It almost looks like we could kind of go through the... Wait, what's this? Toggle button. Oh, that's just a button. Is this a window or can I jump out of this? No, I don't think I can. Alright. Pretty cool so far. I like that I can walk around on this. That's neat. I just wish I could figure out the ramp. Alright, we're starting to curve down. I wanted to check out the, uh, the weather warning system on here. So, okay, the rain's coming. Does that light up back there or is it... Uh, does it? No. Doesn't light up. It tells me, of course, that there's rain, but I was trying to see if it would do a lightning warning. Alright, I guess it's not going to do that. That's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and start rotating. Uh, let's go ahead and get down. Are we near an island right now? Oh, we have booked it. Wow. Okay. We need to actually just do like a 180 here. Ah, uh, they got my waypoint set about 12 kilometers out. We're actually going to try to land at the uh, same runway we took off from. Uh, we're going to start losing altitude right now. Let's see. Start to drop here. I want to drop a little below the clouds. Is there... Okay, where's their speed? Okay, there's my altitude right there. Okay. All right. So, ideally... Is everything looking good? Whoa, the battery's getting low. Is that not charging itself? Okay, the APU's on... Fuel... Fuel warning. Why am I getting a fuel warning? Uh... 700? No. Ford tank? Everything looks good. Uh, yeah, I think we're good there. Alright, so that's our objective. Still quite a ways out, but this thing actually travels really quick, so... Uh, we'll be home in no time, I think. Possibly. Alright, we're about to start to turn in. Let's go ahead. We're going to decrease a little bit of throttle here. Let's go ahead and get a landing gear back out. There we go. Uh, front gear... Wait, what? Uh, we got a bit of an issue here. Front gear did not deploy. That's, uh, okay. I guess we got to come in for emergency landing. All right, let's go ahead and start the turn here. There's our, uh, our landing area right there. Oh, oh, okay, it came out. I don't think it's locked in place. Okay, let's go ahead and back off. Uh, put flaps, flaps on. Okay. Uh-oh, on. Lost a little, little too much off it. Uh-oh, oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, uh, no, 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 come on, come on, come on, what is, oh, it, it stalled out, it stalled out, uh-oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no, okay, that is a, a confirmed landing by Jake, oh, jeez, oh, we need to go, uh, that was a great landing by Jank Airlines there, hope you guys enjoyed your stay, I hope this door opens, if not, I'm dead, oh, come on, door, <laughs> go up, I really thought we were gonna make it, I mean, yeah, the landing gear didn't... Huh. Yeah, it didn't deploy. Well, hope they didn't want that back. Oh, and there goes the electronics. Yep, it just fried itself. Wait, I actually saw this the other day where the electronics freaked out. I had them freak out on a boat the other day. I wonder if that's the same thing. I don't know. All right, well, I guess we're swimming home. Alright, so we're going to be spawning the Valkyrie 2 Mark 1. Now, this is something you guys probably saw in a Stormworks episode the other day. 
Well, we got about 30 seconds of quality time with this before we proceeded to crash it into the water, and I felt pretty bad because this thing is absolutely amazing. I think something glitched out with me and OB, and somehow he was able to take control of the controls as I was flying. It was quite awkward, but I feel like we never gave this thing a fair shake, so this was definitely one I wanted to revisit. Let's go ahead and close the side doors. Okay, floor door. So yeah, this thing's actually really cool. Uh, this is like a little safety harness thingy with Bob Crane. Uh, that is probably the worst thing to call that. But yeah, the floor opens up and you can lower this down. It's actually pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open that there. So yeah, it opens down, it goes down towards the bottom and you can actually rescue people that way, which is, that's actually quite awesome. Uh, so looks like we got firefighting gear and diving equipment. Uh, see, door power. If doors are stuck, you can close it, and I guess you can manually plow that open. Oh, that's actually really awesome. Uh, a lot of doors can use that. So if for some reason we lose power, things go bad, we can turn this off, and it'll unlock the door, and we can grab the handle and slide it backwards. That's actually uh, really nifty. Uh, so we got a little medical bay, some passenger seats, pumps are on. All right, so let's actually fire this thing up. Uh, let's see. It's, oh, it's got firefighting capabilities, too. There's the water pumps. Cool. Alright, so there's your GPS, there's your whole position, we're gonna go key button here, okay, she's fired up, gyros are on, speed limiter, and thrust limiter. Alright, so let's go ahead and keep the gyro on, we could hold altitude, but I think we're gonna wait on that. So, we can lift this thing up, it is a VTOL, so we'll lift it up like that, and the more you hit 1 and 2, which is actually 2 to go forward, this is how you actually drive the thing forward, and this thing is so smooth. That gyro in there does a fantastic job, so, yeah. Uh, I would almost prefer this over a helicopter, to be honest with you. Like, because you can just easily switch to that stationary uh, position by tilting the engines up like that. And there it goes, it just slows down. Plus, just look at that exhaust. Look at it hitting the ground, that looks amazing. Now, let's do a little stability test real quick. Can I... How, how's walking around in this? Oh, yeah, that's that's great. Uh, hold on, there goes the door. Oh, the door gets stuck. Uh, turn off the door power, so I guess we actually get to try this. Uh, push out and pull back. Uh, well, maybe I'm not really good at doing that. Uh, okay, so, yeah, you can definitely walk around on this. Uh, feels really, really smooth. Now, let's go ahead and go, where's our altitude hold at? It was, uh, Magal. Uh, I've got a hotkey for it, but where's the actual button? So, I guess we'll set it manually. So, let's go ahead and climb here. Let's turn. We're gonna hit four, so that's gonna hold our current altitude. Okay, so it looks like it's locked down. Alright. What's that over there? I guess that's water, electricity, and jet fuel. So, there's your inputs how to refuel this thing. Alright, so we're going to set a destination. We're going to say we want to go, let's go up to here. So we'll go to the beginner base. We'll say it's, uh, we'll go at 10 and negative 66. So we'll go 10, and not 0, 0, and negative 66. Okay, boom. Go to destination. There it goes. That is so awesome. It's so smart. Like, look how it's just carrying itself. No, uh oh, speed wobbles. Now, I read something about the speed wobbles. There's a uh, speed limiter here. We can adjust this back uh, for the shaking. There we go. All right, so that's good to go there. Kind of corrected itself. That's so awesome. This makes things so easy. You can just sit back, have a cup of coffee as you're flying to your destination. And I think they said uh, with the new microprocessor update that this is going to make things like this a little more simple for people. I don't really know how that works, but... Uh, I'm assuming it's going to make things a little more compact for people. So, man, the December update's going to be huge when it comes out. Alright, getting down there. Oh, no, 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 I think it's trying to land. No, 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 don't land, don't land, don't land. Okay, done. I don't know if it was actually going down to land or if it was slowing itself down. It started dipping there. Hold on, let's go ahead and land ourselves. Oh, boy. Alright, so here's the starter island. You know, this might be my new go-to rescue craft. This thing is cool. Like, it's so smooth, and you just click the buttons, and you can actually be prepping for rescues in the back as this thing's taking you to the actual rescue location. This thing is insane, so let's go... Boom. Okay, touchdown. Okay, fire those off. Gyro's off. Altitude hold off. 
Okay, brakes are actually on already, so boom. Pop that open. It's going to slide out. Boom, there we go. Easy. I love that. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Stormworks Creations. Just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys. Check out a couple cool creations. Not doing like any sort of actual sinking survival or anything. I uh, just wanted to catch up on a couple of these things and talk a little bit about the upcoming update. So anyways, thank you guys for all the love and support on Stormworks. You guys are absolutely amazing on this series. And we will see you guys next time.